Okay, so here you have it. Aluminum wiring. So you find out you have aluminum wiring in your house, or you already do. And it's all over the place, and it might be accessible, it might not be. But what should you do? One option is to pay an electrician maybe 10 grand and rewire your whole house. It's a very good option if you have 10 grand. If you don't, of course you want to be safe. Um, you're going to have to do something. Leaving aluminum wiring in your house without taking any actions poses a fire hazard. <coughs> so, um, what the problem with aluminum wiring is, when you put the two pieces together and you put your wire nut on there and you twist that down, um, your wire heats up and it loosens up inside that wire nut and that's where your fires come from. When, you, when they loosen up, or if they're on a plug, you have them on a plug, and they could loosen up from the plug. So loose connections is the source of your fire from aluminum wiring. But we use aluminum wiring all the time in homes, especially in your service lines. But the difference is, in the service lines, you actually have a lug to tighten down that aluminum wiring and tighten it up so it doesn't give it a chance to move. And that's the difference. That's why you're not having all kind of fires with your main service lines, which are all aluminum, coming into your main panel. You know, we don't see them burning down. So, your problem is, you need to clamp these down better than putting a wire nut on them. You need something you can twist down hard and you're going to get a clamp on them. And that'll keep you from uh, having um, loose wiring and possible burning down your house or um, blowing your wire apart with some mad connections and arcing and all that. So what we have here is another option. It's a little connector. It has lugs on it. And these lugs help you clamp down that aluminum wiring and get rid of those loose connections in the middle. You put the wire in here. It has the um, the uh, paste in there to uh, you need to put on aluminum wiring so it doesn't corrode. And this allows you to clamp down on those so you don't have any more loose connections. Now what you need to know is buy a whole bunch of these and they're pretty expensive. But they're cheaper than electrician. You need to go around to every single plug, switch, and box that you have an aluminum connection in and replace all your wire nuts with these. You also need to eliminate all your aluminum only plugs and aluminum only switches with copper ones so you don't have that replace those expensive aluminum plugs that cost two, three times what a normal plug would cost. Same thing with the switches. So, what you want to do is, on all your connections, say you're just doing it in the basement, you have a <coughs> four inch box. Um, there'd be no reason to come out of that four inch box. There's no copper in there. Um, so you would just, uh, Put your aluminum wires in.
I'm loosening up. You want to just replace the wire nuts with take your aluminum wires, put them in here. Okay, it might be a little bit long there, so you may want to trim that. Now you put all your aluminum wires in, and then you clamp that on your um, aluminum wiring. And that makes a good clamp. And there are directions on how much to clamp these down. So, so you can get the right tightness on them. Alright, there we go. So there you go. That will replace your wire nuts. So instead of having a wire nut, you'll have these, and you, and you tighten them down, and this eliminates all them loose connections and uh, burning down your house. Okay, now for your plugs, to get rid of the aluminum plugs, you know, you'll either have, you know, two wires coming into this. Yeah, it's hard to say if, if it jumps from plug to plug. But you could have uh, aluminum coming in, aluminum going out to your other plug. But what you do is you take a copper wire, because these are rated for aluminum and copper. You put your copper wire in there, and you run that copper wire to your plug. So from here, you would put a, a regular copper plug on there. And that eliminates your aluminum plug. You need to go around to all your boxes and replace all your plugs. So, if it's just in a junction box, you know, there's no copper in there. You just put your aluminum in, tighten them down. If it's your eliminating switches and plugs that are just aluminum, this is how to go from aluminum to copper. This is the only way to do it. So you have your original aluminum wiring and you would add your new copper. And that will take care of it. It's important that you replace every single wire nut with these to get rid of the hazard. Also, you want to do some common sense stuff. Your dishwasher, your refrigerator, your washer and dryer, you want to run those on separate circuits with brand new copper lines. If, you're, if your refrigerator is plugging into aluminum wire in your kitchen, run a new copper line to the fridge because it's a heavy load. The cooler that you keep these aluminum wires, the less they'll expand and contract and cause you a fire hazard. So your main appliances, make sure they have brand new copper wire go into the main appliances, especially in your kitchen. Um, I like to see you run new um, um, wire to some of your counter plugs because they carry a lot of um, electricity and so does your refrigerator, your countertop, your dishwasher. Um, it would be nice to have a plug in your bathroom. That's brand new copper. I mean, that's a big load. But not as critical. Um, and don't forget your moisture and dryer. One thing I want to tell you, do not do, is run a window air conditioner off of aluminum wiring. Even if you knew your aluminum wiring, and you run a copper plug out of it, that's a very high load, and that's no good. That'll heat your wires up. If you're going to run a uh, window air conditioner, run a brand new circuit to it. And if you can't do that, put such wear in, because that, that will cause a fire hazard to your house if you run such a heavy load off one of your aluminum aluminum uh, brand surgeons. So, 
And when you're done connecting these, it has a little door. You snap that together. It closes up. A lot of times, these will take up a lot of space. Um, in your plug boxes, you're just going to make them fit. In your four, four, four inch boxes in the basement or attic, there's no extensions to fit them all in there. Um, to make that work. So, uh, I believe these are available at Home Depot. If not, you can definitely get them online from Home Depot. Or look at other sources online to get these. Um, like I said, they're going to be expensive. But it's well worth it from keeping your house burning down from your aluminum wiring. But this is the best way that i found to, uh, have aluminum wiring and have it safely. Because I'll be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with aluminum wiring as long as it's used um, wisely. You don't overheat it, you have good connections, and you clamp on tight, just like your main service lines. Um, you'll probably have no problems at all. So there you have it. That's what to do if you have aluminum wiring. And you're going to use a lot of these, and you're going to have one for your whites, one for your blacks, and one for your rods. So, buy a lot of them, and start replacing them, and uh, make your house a lot safer. You can see on there. That says aluminum copper, so it takes both kinds. I've used these a lot, and uh, I really like them. I think they work pretty well. I've never had any kind of problems whatsoever. You know, I mean, even going into places where we've actually had um, arcs because of the, you know, wire nuts and the wires getting loose, and I fixed it all up with this. And I've never had a problem. So, this is what I recommend you use to make your house safer and keep your uh, argument not to a minimum. That's it. Thank you.